What probably is now becoming common knowledge that pain is fundamentally a brain-related phenomenon. That it is not what goes out in the periphery. We call this nociception. And that pain is fundamentally these nociceptive impulses that are integrated or summated in the brain and changed by all sorts of other factors such as cognitive factors, emotional factors, early life experiences, uh, genetic factors that then shape and become the experience of pain to help people one to better understand those central neural correlates, the brain related role in shaping our perception of pain, two to better understand how our brain shapes our individual experience and expression of pain. Next, how those cognitive and emotional factors play such uh, an important role in our patient's pain and suffering, and maybe even predicting how they'll do with treatment. And then also uh, some exciting new areas in what we're learning about treatment and how it impacts the brain, and giving us hope for new targets in the brain for treatment and also using it as a predictive biomarker. We're excited about using this technology, neuroimaging of pain, to open up windows into the brain to identify potential targets in the brain for treatment. And so how might we go after those targets? Well, there's a multitude of ways. We can go after them using uh, pain psychology approaches. Well, these have been around for decades and decades and have been shown to work effectively, but now marrying traditional pain psychology with what we're learning about brain mechanisms, it allows us the opportunity to bring pain psychology and these techniques thoroughly into the 21st century and now start to fine tune things so that we can target uh, specific aspects of the pain experience so that it's tailored for a particular patient. We can also use these brain targets from a pharmacologic targeting standpoint to go after these abnormal brain systems and help reverse those or bring those back to a normal function. they are also great targets for electrical stimulation, whether it be deep brain stimulation or uh, something that is more accessible to pain clinicians, that being uh, uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, which allows us to do uh, non-invasive brain stimulation and target some of these regions. And so a lot of opportunity here, crossing the gamut from uh, mind-body approaches through pharmacologic approaches through even high-tech uh, uh, stimulatory approaches.